a lot of reactions to Trump are overreactions. And I do think that be, observing a Trump presidency and having been in the press when we did it the first time, uh, it does require some emotional discipline and not to jump at every single thing. Uh, liberal women uh, among the most pissed off. They're, and there's, have you seen this, the strategy? Denying sex. <laughs> no, really, this is a big thing to any guy who voted for Trump. Finally, progressives found a way to turn something blue. Yes, I believe you've seen these Libra women are increasing this on social media, demanding they will not have anything to do with consecutive men. In fact, some are even making sure, like men in general, be mass all these and extremely melt them to a level that some didn't like. When I look through videos, pictures on TikTok, X, it clearly tells you these people are insane. These people doing this right, even Whoopi Goober came out the other day and made it clear like she's joining this as right. This. We all came from I this. dare, yeah, you, you didn't get here by yourself, man. <laughs> you can't do this without us. Yeah, yeah. And if we don't let you, you don't get any. It's that simple. It's that simple. Secondly, if you are wearing a MAGA hat in public and you try to smile at me or engage with me, um, I will disrespectfully flip you off. Sit on a mucking cactus and spin. Okay? Thanks. Bye! How is this for a motivational phrase? Our resistance will be talked about. Do you guys feel spicy? Because I do. No matter how loud, how kind, respectful, how cute, men will soon hate you. Women are talking about bringing that 4B movement right here to the United States. I don't know about the fucking Operation 4B. Refuse to date men, get married, have SEX with them, or children. All I have to say is good luck getting laid. <laughs> Me and my girlies are participating in the 4B movement. No more kitty cat for moderate men. Fucking all the things that the patriarchy wants us to be. Clearly, they don't give a shit about us. No attention to men delete block do not respond to them government cares that they're not having kids because children are the future labor force i'm gonna start barking and getting crazy you think i'm crazy me too just like all the women before me who are crazy it is the best thing i've ever done for my mental health we're not crazy we have to do this together the women who are doing the 4b movement help other women who are doing the 4b movement all right tell me i'm gonna not be responding to you to be promoting the 4B movement. Do not acknowledge them. Do not look at them. Do not laugh at their jokes. Why exactly are you going to keep becoming subservient to a nation that doesn't literally care about you? Wake women up. <laughs> when you take a look at these people doing this, they're always like the same people. They have the same kind of looks. When I look through all these videos, pictures, the same people, I don't believe someone that is educated to a certain level should be doing this. I was sure that Whoopi Goldberg would be part of this. Now taking a look at this video, I think I pulled this out a few hours ago, where Whoopi Goldberg is under scrutiny. She's being criticized on social media for simply doing something, thinking it's a good idea, coming out to say, oh, these people were biased on me. This is racism. It's because of my political belief. They rejected to attend to me. And they came out, replied to her in numbers. It is important. I show you what exactly is going on. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to do that. It will do you no harm if you share the video. Welcome back. My birthday dessert today is, was my, one of my mom's favorites from when she was a kid. And she talked about these all the time. They're called Charlotte Russe. And it's a sponge cake with whipped cream and a cherry on top. Now, I should tell you, Charlotte Russe has no political leanings. And the place that made these refused to make them for me. Oh, really? Yes. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Let me explain. Let me explain. <laughs> they said that their, their ovens had gone down, all kinds of stuff. But folks went and got them anyway, which is why I'm not telling you who made them. But it's, I, it's not going to be because I'm a woman, but perhaps they did not like my politics. Yeah. But that's okay because, you know what? Listen. This is my mother's celebration. Yeah, Pick these up and celebrate with me and my mom. Thank you, everyone, for celebrating my birthday today. I want you all to have a great day. Take a little time to enjoy the view and never let folks get you down. Yeah. A few moments later. There seems to be a lot of talk about the dessert I requested for my birthday show. I never mentioned the name of the bakery or the location. It does seem a, a little odd that when we called a few weeks before my birthday and we were told they couldn't process the order 
for my birthday because of an equipment failure. But somehow they were able to accept an order of a different 48 of the same dessert when somebody else called without using my name. But it's all okay, y'all, because I enjoyed my delicious dessert and I had a happy, sweet birthday. Nothing better than that. After struggling to destroy this woman's business, they had a message to Whoopi. And when I look through, a lot of people say, oh, this woman should sue Whoopi. Oh, Whoopi should be fired from the view. That is what I've seen. A lot of people put it out. And it's coming at a time where ABC is looking into replacing some of these people. What's happening? Uh, Whoopi Goldberg causing problems for a bakery. And now a Staten Island uh, bureau president is speaking. Let's watch. Uh, and I, I think the bottom line here is after we're going to call up uh, Jill, who has had to endure something that she shouldn't have to endure. These people are up at 3 or 4 o'clock every morning. The sacrifices they've made, the holidays they've missed with their families. To make Staten Island better, they have sacrificed for 145 years. Rutherford B. Hayes was the president of the United States, for God's sakes. And they're still here, and they're still strong, and they're not going anywhere, despite what other people on television have to say. And frankly, the people who, who defamed Holtman, the Holtman family should apologize to the Holtman family for making stuff up to suit their needs. Not everybody wakes up every day and thinks about politics. A good business person doesn't care about anybody's politics. So with that, I'd like to call up Jill Holter and Bowers. Uh, she deserves 110% support. Jill, come on. It's a community that I have to tell you, I'm so overwhelmed by the support between finding out yesterday this even happened, getting phone calls, and then people coming in, people from all over just supporting us in every way. We had phone calls yesterday from Alabama. Guy says, I'm gonna give you $50, send it to a school, send them donuts, send them cupcakes. The support has been so overwhelming, and I know how hard my family has worked to keep this business alive. And I wish my father was here today to see this. He would never believe it. My bakers come in two or three in the morning just to have donuts and rolls for everybody to come in and say, we have the best rolls ever. And you know what? It took my whole family. It takes everybody, the community that comes every day to see us. We have this everyday conversation with everybody. How's the family? How's this? This is what makes Holtemans Holtemans. It's the community, it's my fellow everything that come out and us giving back to the community that makes this go round. And if it wasn't for you and Staten Island to make this work, we still wouldn't be here today. So I know my brother, Billy, work hard. Joe, my baker in the back, is here six days a week. He gives his heart and soul to this place. And you know what? My father always said you do what you love. I'm telling you, this is my heart, and I thank you so much for everybody to come out and support us with the Holtman family. It means no the world to me. It really does. Thank you so much. All good. It's all good. The goodness prevails. And just a little background for those who know, there was they had a boiler here. Again, it's been here 145 years. They had a boiler that was 60 or 70 years old. And the first week in November, guess what? It went on the fritz. They had to be replaced. And the the reputation of Holtemans is impeccable. So rather than commit to something they couldn't guarantee, they say we can't do it. And the person who uh, besmirched and defamed them took that as an insult to to her. Well, get over it. Uh, these, this family will be here for God willing another 145 years. And as Jill said, it's her family, it's the Staten Island community, it's the elected officials. And I hope if you're watching this across the country, go online and order something. And this is exactly what we saw. Thank you guys for always been there sharing out my videos. God bless you abundantly. And there is one last thing. Jimmy Kimmel thinks that Trump supporters are stupid. Jimmy Kimmel still calling Trump voters stupid.
There aren't many things that explain this election better than the idea that there are people who believe voting is more flexible than Uber Eats. You can't change your vote. This is interesting, too. We looked up how many people have been searching the phrase, am I stupid? It was a flat line all year until the election. It went, and then after the election, it went through the roof. And it's still going up. And by the way, if you have... What happened last night? There's no denying it is a weird time. But today is not the worst day since Trump was elected. That was yesterday. Donald Trump made it clear during the campaign that he would turn the government into a personal autocracy. Paired around that. I want you to know what would change after doing this. These people are getting out of hand. I don't care if they write that. I'm going to shake it off. Figure out a way to say thank you. No matter how you disagree with someone politically, you should never pray for this. Elected that guy. I didn't mention that guy's name. He's such an absolute, absolute prick. I can't stand him. <laughs> hey there. Hey, I'm guessing you're not doing great. The rest of us be doing on day one. Right now. Well. <laughs> Bishop Vigano. He says that the the core strategy of the Democratic 